TIFU by cooking a pepper I bought at an Amish farm. This happened yesterday evening preparing dinner at home. Taco Tuesday is a celebrated holiday in our home. This year we bought a variety of pepper plants starts from a local Amish farm intending to try some new flavors. I went to the garden and plucked a smaller jalapeno and one bright red pepper I had not yet identified. Now I knew this mystery pepper was at least as hot as a jalapeno because of the smell. When I cut the top off, I decided to go easy and only dice two thin slices of the pepper. So when my oiled pan has heated up enough I tossed in the cut onions and peppers and began to swirl. The pan to heat them together as usual. Suddenly I was aware of an extremely dry cough forming in my throat. And I turned away from the stove and cupped my hands over my mouth and nose out of instinct. The dry cough wouldn't let up though and I was becoming more and more aware that the pores on and around my nose and mouth were burning. I stepped outside the kitchen and heard my girlfriend coughing the same way I was in her office, which is located on the other side of our house. I realized I had basically made pepper spray and fumigated the whole house with it in only a few minutes. I rushed her, our daughter, and both dogs outside with tears streaming down my glowing red face. Nose running. Just looking a complete mess I stumbled back out to the garden to look for a name tag on the red menace I had unleashed on our home. Caribbean Red Hot. 300,000 to 450,000 Scoville heat units. For comparison, jalapenos rank between 2500-8000. I spent the next hour with a milk-soaked rag on my face until the burning stopped. At least I never touched my eyes. TLDR, cooked a random pepper I got from Amish folk. Fumigated my whole house and family with fresh-made potent pepper spray. See that Ezekiel, now he knows what hell will be like. I just gotta say it's nice to have a TIFU I can read in public once in a while. This reminds of the break room incident that I didn't witness but heard about. Coworker microwaved a pack of popcorn. Now it wasn't just any popcorn. It was Carolina Reaper flavored. Maced everyone out of the break room. That's not what you're supposed to do with peppers in this sub. You're supposed to rub it on genitals. Go back and start over. Seriously though, search the word, pepper, in this sub and wonder how anyone who subscribes here doesn't know not to. Touch your no-no zone with spicy peppers. How was it an unidentified pepper when you had the tag? Your nose realized that something was Amish. Being from Trinidad a little Caribbean country, and cooking with this all the time, this made me lol so hard. When you go to the supermarket in NY, they refer to these as Jamaican hot peppers, but they're usually imported from Trinidad. Kinda like the time we made stuffed peppers with sweet lipstick peppers. That thing nearly sent me to the hospital. Couldn't breath right for an hour. Tis a fine defense spray but surely is no food, English. I guess this is also a good time as any to say this. Do not grill jerk chicken indoors no matter how much you're craving them in the winter. I absolutely weaponized the heck out of three scotch bonnet peppers against my whole family woozy face. LOL. I get the cough reaction when cutting up just unusually hot jalapenos. I have no need for super neutron peppers. Serrano is my limit. That looks like a scotch bonnet fire. A past roommate decided to cook jalapenos at midnight which resulted in me being woken up unable to breath because the homemade pepper spray triggered an asthma attack. I use a medical grade N95 when I cook peppers, lol. 
The time the product development guys made chili marshmallow is still infamous for the same reason. They managed to persuade one of the delivery drivers to taste some as well. I'm so sorry up, but I can't stop laughing! Exclamation mark. Welcome to the club. Buddy and I used to do this for omelettes. Course he would put a lid on. Soon as he pulled it. Mace the whole house. My late wife was not a fan and would yell at us from all the way upstairs. Good times. That was only with habaneros though. These days I grow ghost peppers and still mace myself from time to time. I cleaned my cutting board after cutting a Carolina Reaper. The hot water on the cutting board brought up enough capsaicin to elicit the same response. D powerful stuff. So he didn't identify it but it had a tag in it with the name? Okay. I've grown these peppers. Both hot and tasty. Used them to make some hot pepper strawberry jam once. Was terrific. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.